Hey, what's up there guys? I had been I had sort of <clears throat> had the idea for a while to make a video of me uh, once again, you know, dreaming on QGG here in the uh online local classifieds of classic cars. And then I couldn't believe it. I said, "Man, I got to make a video out of this because it seems like almost every car I've seen so far only on the first page I would buy." And the last one was the like really the final straw to my decision making this. And you know the stupid thing is, I was actually uploading videos I had the the camera hooked up to the the hard drive and and I'm like no you know what fuck it I want I got to show you guys some of these cars I can't believe it I mean this is Quebec you know I'm always complaining it's the usual cars Camaros Mustangs or modern cars and you know all that shit and uh, and uh, anyway here let me show you what I'm talking about here okay well there's whatever that's my Christine painting which uh, uh, this is just they just show you highlighted how it would look like you know at the top of a of a search, you know, but uh, uh, you have to pay for that. Yeah, I want some big bucks for that, baby. And just to show you guys who aren't too familiar with me, and I did this painting last year. It's a big, big painting. It's as big as the Monarch over there. Oh, oh, little preview. And uh, there it is. Yeah, actually, it's right here, but it's too dark to see it, so too bad. Anyway, uh, so moving along. Uh, okay, there's this guy, but this guy, he's highlighted. See, meaning like his... his Ad is like on the top of every page, so he pays for that, right? Beautiful Imperial. Let me just give you a quick look here. Uh, pretty sure that's a rare color. Um, look at this. Wow. Wow. I've only, I think, ever seen one of these, and it was green. Look at this car. Look at that building. Is that fucking cool or what? I mean, man, it's amazing and spooky. It looks like something that could have been used for the movie The Shining or like a part two. Anyway, this guy's always, but look, okay, here we go. So 64 Galaxy, which I've done a video of. This is a usual card at the local uh, cruise night there in Laval. Uh, again, what's uh, 12 grand. She's a beauty. Okay, yeah, beautiful car. Beautiful car. You know. Okay, you know. Anyway, so there's that. And then there's, uh, no, not the Miata. That's kind of interesting. Oil cans that are full, by the way. I didn't even look at it. I just thought that it was interesting. He writes $15. I'm sure it's $15 each. Probably firm. Let's just see here just for fun. I want to see. Yeah, those look pretty old, man. Yeah. Cool stuff. DX. Hmm. Okay, whatever. That's an old horn. Okay, there's this cool, nice El Camino. I didn't even click on the ad. I just... I'm like wow, what a cool purple! You know, look at that. Guy wrote in the in the description that he's like, oh, I invested a lot of money into it. Uh, da 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 da. Ten thousand negotiable. It's probably worth that. Maybe not. But, you know, not a rare car. It's not very old either. And uh, where was I? Oh yeah, look at this. Okay, it's a project, but Christ, this is a freaking rare car, man. Ford Victoria, nineteen fifty one. This was top of the line back in the day, man. Okay. Uh, this was the, the Ford equivalent of the Bel Air, but even rarer than that. And it's funny because the roof line, the windows, everything it looks a lot similar to the, the Chevy, the Bel Air. And uh, even though it's a, it's a project, anybody who's, who's expert in restoration has the time and money to put into this. I don't know if they're going to, I don't think they'll lose money, uh, uh, you know, when they sell it. I mean, look, 4500 bucks. It might sound like a lot for a car that's like not, that needs to be completed, but it's fucking rare. Now, here's a car that's also not, uh, it's kind of rare, but not not really compared to that Victoria. Uh, 29 grand. I mean, this is a beautiful old car. I love the Moonies, uh, wheels and the wide whites. Very uh, 50 style uh, custom. I uh, have a friend, uh, my old landlord, Wally, he had one. Sorry, he had two of them. There's a little uh, model. Look at this, 54... Chrysler New Yorker Okay, sedan look at that it says like new come now 15 grand look at this. Oh look at this honey What a sweetheart my god. I mean if this was a woman it would be the, the, so charming uh, I'm trying to think of who but uh, Wow uh, What a cream puff What a cream puff. I don't know why you can't click on the second or third picture picture and make them larger Look at this thing. It's outstanding Outstanding. I think of the interior. Beautiful interior. Beautiful eye-catching blue exterior. That light, typical light, typical old-school 50s blue, so forth. Um, 
It's got a 331 V8 Hemi. That's the first year for that. And then there was this. Then when I find, I saw this, I said, oh yeah, okay, this is it. I gotta make a video about this. Look at this, two grand, right? And I'm like, oh my God, what's wrong with this thing? It's beautiful. This is like one of my dream cars, believe it or not. A four-door sedan, a plain Jane, Canadian Pontiac Laurentian. Look at that. I've never even seen one this color before, this gold color. I've seen that before on like an Impala or a Bel Air. Oh, the paint is shining. The chrome is nice. You know, and then... How come you can't make them bigger? What the hell is that all about? I don't know why it does that. I want to see... Hang on, okay, anyway, sorry. I don't know why I can't uh, make the pictures bigger. Sorry about that. See, the car looks good. You look at it. Chrome is nice. Looks straight. The paint is shiny. Uh, uh, you don't really see any wear and tear. Okay, you know, the hubcaps aren't there. Big deal. I don't care about that. That's the style anyway. And then you click on it. Still looks good, driver's side. Driver's side's always better generally, especially here in the Northeast and the passenger side, as you know, which takes more of a beating from all the crap accumulating on the curbs and the sidewalks during the winter. And this is where the uh, the shit hits the fan, right there. You see, look closely at that fender. Love that, love that style right here of the, uh, the design here uh, on the rear quarter. This was a Canadian Pontiac thing. Uh, I think this was only on the Laurentian. And yeah, okay, see, look at that. Look at the rot right there. And you can see there's a little bit of rot right here near the rocker panel. So this car was driven in the snow a bit. Um, I don't know when, but interior looks good. Dash is fucked. Pretty good original car. I think it's 86,000 miles. It shows it. You know, there it goes from somewhere on the seat. Not terrible. Blanket over it. That's a 283. 283 right on. Got some power. Better. It's got more pickup. Than a V, than a six. Oh man, I, pff, two grand, man. Hey, if I had the money, I mean, if I had the place to put it, I'd buy it. Never mind the lack of driver's license because I'm visually impaired. Fuck it, I'd buy it anyway. Yeah, it says project to redo. The car is functional, plated, and insured. It's a 283 motor. This is the part that I find fucking strange. I've never ever seen in all the years I've been dreaming about old cars and looking at them for sale online or in print or whatever. It says here you have to. Get the car evaluated for the transfer. No, no, I think this person doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. I, uh, it, it makes it sound like because that the, the evaluation of a vehicle, you you got to pay for that. The the owner has to pay for that. It's a hundred bucks, like one hundred twenty-five bucks. It says here the two doors, uh, the two doors on the driver's side were replaced and painted recently, uh, following uh, somebody who backed up into the car when it was parked. It says firm price, no 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 trades. Ah oh, man. This is unfortunately one of the times when I don't like looking at Kijiji because you see I see something like that I'm like oh my god I wanted that grill, that that recessed grill, the stacked headlights. It's a Canadian Laurentian. It's a cool color. I don't even fucking care if the hubcaps don't have, don't come with the car. Just the way it is. Just drive it, man. You know. Matter of fact, if it's solid enough, frame and floor wise, I think I would even get it totally rustproof big time and take a chance driving in the winter. <sighs> yeah. Anyway. So it reminds you of that song I like there by, uh, what is it, Phil Hartman? I can dream about you. Not the actor Phil Hartman. Uh, Hartman, Paul Hartman. Anyway, you know, whatever. Look at this, Mercedes-Benz 560 SEL. Still a lot of these cars. There's tons of these cars. They sold so many of these fucking cars. And what's amazing is they were such great cars. There's still a lot of them uh, around. You still see them because they're such great cars, you know. I mean, I love those old caddies, and some of them were good, but some of them were fucking shit, especially depending on the motor you had, like that 4.1 there, or that 4.68, which was absolutely horrible, and so was the diesel. Look at this, 269 Camaros in a row, just to show you how common they are. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think this is the coolest Camaro ever made, but... I mean, fuck, it's so common. Find me one with a straight 6, that's mind-boggling. Try to find one now. Look at this, 88 Cadillac... Fleetwood Brome d'Elegance. Yeah, I think I know this car. 45,000 clicks. So I've never, again, just to, to even look, look at this, this last car. 87 Jaguar, a car I wouldn't look at really many years ago. But now I look at more than ever because it's a timeless, classic 70s design made into the 2000s. Beautiful fucking car. It's a piece of junk, but, you know, whatever. Put a 305 in it. Put a piece of gum on it, like Dice used to say. And if you don't know what I mean by that, then, well, that's because you're you're... You're not a Generation X, X person, Generation X, or Baby Boomer. So again, I cannot believe the amount of cool color. Almost every, almost all these cars, actually, some of them I didn't even mention. Okay, this whatever is a fucking moron. I hate it when people put their modern cars 
in this classic car section. It's insulting for the uh, the enthusiast. So, in the temple, these amateurs of voitures in the end of the 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 voitures fucking modern dans cette section. Even this, a Mazda Miata. Okay, this one qualifies because it is officially an antique. Okay, sixty-five hundred. And anyway, so that's it. Uh, I wanted to bring attention to this. I think this is amazing. Um, if you have the uh, the money and you've got the the skills and not to, and to put this car back to original and not to fuck it up and put in a rat rod, fuck that. You're a moron if you do that. Anybody does that and you don't do it well, in my opinion, will ruin this car. So, anyway, that's it, guys. So I hope you like it. Take it easy. Bye.